Well, hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. This is Linda and today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely Cajun salmon along with a lovely side sauce that's made with capers and lemon. So let's get started. So let's turn the stove on to medium high, not too high. Take some olive oil and let's pour some in the pan, about maybe four tablespoons or less. Let's let that get warm. I'm going to make sure I coat it all though. Make sure I get it all over my pan so that my fish doesn't stick to the pan. So I'm going to use three of these fillets, not all four. So I'm going to use some Cajun seasoning, my favorite. Sprinkle it all over, a generous amount. And put some on the back because I'm definitely going to make sure that my skin is nice and toasty. So I want to make sure I get some on the back so I get some flavor. I'm going to add some garlic salt, my second favorite seasoning. Coat the back. Just adding a little bit, just to give it flavor. Not too many people eat the skin, but if you cook it nice and crispy, it tastes really good. If you've had chicharrones, it'll taste like chicharrones. So I'm gonna add black pepper, cracked black pepper. Sprinkle it all over. Not too much though. My pan is pretty warm now. I think it's ready. So let's place a couple of these on here. Get these nice and tidy in here. And three will fit perfectly. You just want to keep an eye on it. Here's a little close up. This won't take very long. Take a look from the side. You can see it's already starting to cook. There's a little bit of white showing. That means it's cooking. You'll probably want to cook it for about three minutes on this side and then we'll flip it over. So we're getting close. So how's your day going? I'm having a great day today. We're back home. 
We've been out of our home, but we're back home temporarily. So it's kind of nice to be home. As if you're new to the show or to my channel, not show, but my channel, um, I had an overflowing toilet in my home and it destroyed half of our home. We had two bedrooms that were down and two bathrooms and a loft. So it's been pretty difficult here, but hopefully sometime soon we'll be able to move forward and get the contractors to start working on our house. But for now, we're home and the pets are happy. Okay, let's take a look. It's starting to look a little bit white. It's cooking. That's what you want to see. See that? You want that to kind of be halfway up. So we'll cook it a little longer. If you like my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that little bell on the right hand corner. You want it to say all notifications and give it a thumbs up if you like this. I'm taking out another pot because I'm going to make the caper lemon sauce. And just so you know, I don't have lemons. I thought I did, but I don't have any lemons, so I'm going to use a lime. But you'll use a lemon for your recipe. You want to make sure that you kind of keep an eye on your salmon so you don't overcook it. So I'm going to put the salmon aside because I want to cook my sauce. And I'm going to use Dijon mustard. I just need a little bit. Garlic salt. Minced garlic. Capers, my favorite. Parsley. Black pepper. Yellow mustard. I'm going to take some garlic, place it in the pan. It's one teaspoon. Now I'm only making enough sauce for three fillets, three small fillets. Okay, now I have some butter, about two tablespoons. Place that in the pan. Try 
Turn on the stove. Medium high. Just want to melt that butter and that garlic. Let it simmer for a little bit. Now if you want, here's the lime, but you really want to use lemon. I'm just using the lime because that's all I have. So use the lemon. You can squeeze a half of a lemon. But what I was saying is that you can basically add all your ingredients to this pot. It'll still cook the same. But I kind of want to just use the butter and the garlic together and fuse it together and get those flavors incorporated. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm adding my Dijon mustard, about two tablespoons. Make that maybe three tablespoons. And mustard, about a teaspoonful. That's yellow mustard. Garlic seasoning salt, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon. Black pepper. Stir that around. You could probably lower the temperature of the stove at this point. It doesn't need to be high. Low heat is fine. Okay, we're gonna add some capers. We're going to use two teaspoonfuls, so that's one. Two. I bought these at Trader Joe's. Just give it a little stir. And then you're going to use real mayonnaise. Best food is what I'm using. About a teaspoonful, a generous amount of teaspoonful. Add that in there, mix it really well. It looks pretty thick, but it'll be a little thinner. Add some sherry cooking wine. I'm gonna say about four teaspoons full. Just mix it up really well. This is how thick you want it to be. Not too runny, not too thick. And squeeze your lemon. And that's a half a lemon. I'm not getting much out of this lime. It seems pretty dry, but a few drops went in, but you want to use a fresh lemon.
and finally some parsley, dried parsley flakes. That's about a teaspoonful. Give it another stir. And that is your wonderful caper lemon sauce. And I'm going to taste a little bit. Just going to taste it. Mmm. Mmm. It just has this flavor of lemon, and you can taste the caper. It's just delicious. This is going to taste excellent on this salmon. You even have the hint of garlic. So that's perfect. Set that aside, and let's get back to our salmon. So you just want to keep an eye on this uh, salmon. You don't want to overcook it or burn the bottom. So they're looking really good. You see the white? It's cooking. And it's almost halfway up. So they're doing really well. It's got a nice little crust on the back. See that? That's what you want to see, that nice crust. This is the part that you'll be able to eat as well. So let's just flip them over. They'll cook here for about a couple minutes. But you want to keep an eye on these at this point. You don't want to walk away from this uh, salmon at this time because you don't want to overcook it. You still want that little bit of pink inside when you cut into it. So I'm just going to let them cook. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and prep me some vegetables to eat, to have on the side. So I'm going to cut up some zucchini, and I'm going to saute my zucchini, and I'm going to have that with my salmon. So, I'm just going to press the sides a little bit. doing two things at the same time right now. Just because I'm prepping my husband's dinner and my dinner, I want to make sure it's all done. So let's take a look. But do you see it's got white on the bottom and, and the back side and the front side and a little bit of pink. They are just about done.
I'm just about done with my sauteing my veggies and dinner is just about ready here it is sauteed veggies and my salmon so let's try this see how it still looks pink in the middle it's tender this looks great so let's see what it tastes like Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is really good. You could taste the lemon and the capers. The sauce is just amazing. This is good. I gotta have another bite. Mmm. You have to make this recipe. You definitely have to make this recipe. Mm. The veggies, oh, I love zucchini. So anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. And please, hit the subscribe button and that little bell on the right hand corner until it says all notifications. And give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much and have a fabulous day. Keep watching my videos and come back again. See you later.